Hello everyone. So, I want to start out by telling you that today I learned way more about crystal oscillators than I ever wanted to know. But, if you would like to learn about crystal oscillators, I recommend this video by this guy. Very good. Very good video. But, that's just helping me get started here. So, guys, we know that crystal oscillators are found on our electronics all the time. And they come in all shapes and sizes. Start with these little guys. And these are really popular. These and these. And sometimes these guys have little bits of plastic or rubber coating on them. You've also got these kind, and these right here. Sometimes you wonder what's inside, because not all oscillators are created the same. Now that's a huge one, and this one was even larger than that. And I cut it up just to see what the inside piece looked like and uh, basically an oscillator just does this but it does it very very fast there's a round one now somewhere buried in that guy is uh, it's an oscillator and the IC chip I'm guessing is to turn it on and off however many times it needs to go. Now, what's cool is we also know that sometimes you find the gold ones. And of course, everybody knows to look for these now. These are also oscillators. But did you know that the piezoelectric uh, sound boards or speakers, whatever you want to call it. Those are also a type of oscillator. So anyway, let's get back to these guys. What I wanted to show you today, just a moment. Okay. All right. So, in the world of crystal oscillators, there's one, and there, where'd he go? Right there. And let's see, the little gold ones, I was telling you, focus. Okay, well, anyway, you know what it is. There's one there. So, what I wanted to show you, though, is sometimes these oscillators can be hidden. And I've been waiting to find a board like this for a long time. See these little black guys here? Let's see if I can just pop off the top of the chip. Can you even see me? Okay. So we'll just take off the top for now. And hold on. There we go. So that's the top of it. And as you can see, there's your little oscillator. And what's cool about that, what I just learned from that other video is it's a tuning fork and it, when they make these in the factory I guess they put the gold on the end of the tips and then shave it off until it gets to uh, like 32,000 something or another hertz 32,768 hertz 
Um, but yeah, the uh, sometimes you'll come across these crystal oscillators and they won't be metal on top. And these are just as good as your uh, ceramic style. You're going to have gold and silver inside of these. And what I do when they're like this, I break them up on the board. And then I'll dump them onto a sheet of paper. And then you can fold the sheet of paper, crease it, and pour it into your uh, bottle that you're saving them. So that's about, that's about it for the oscillators. I didn't really want to go into too much more because that's about all I learned today, guys. So, <clears throat> I don't know what it's like for you guys, but it's very hot here in Central Ohio. Remember that mess I had out here last week? We got the uh, one load of trash out. Um, I got two loads of scrap out one load of heavy scrap and uh, I got the pallets all picked up my wife raked this up and uh, we're gonna I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave the row of pallets back here or not but I'm trying to come up with a uh, better design and I think what I'm gonna do is I'd like to get four pallets next to each other with walls coming up maybe five or six feet and have like uh, three bay areas you know one for trash one for scrap one for heavy scrap oh yeah and I sold the uh, the lawn mowers uh, lawn mowers the tiller and the uh, snow blower and the billy goat but that's it, guys. That's what I've been working on. I uh, finally got around. I had a few extra hours. I have been cutting wires like crazy, kind of like E Waste Mike's video a few weeks back. I've uh, filled up three bins the last few days. And um, let's see. When I seen those um, oscillators, I wanted to make this video because like I said I've been waiting for a chance to make these I showed you on one other previous video uh, the super large ones and uh, I had I don't know it was like five or six um, direct TV boxes and was able to get those all broken up and scrapped out oh and then this guy up here, this was some form of switch. Um, when I opened it up, it had a Cisco card in it. Oh, that's right. Eris. Multimedia Gateway Eris Group. Um, but off of this guy, got this guy. And I don't know if you can, if it's making out the gold in the video but man doesn't that look pretty but i'll pull that off that back strip there and those pins and we'll throw those in uh um the sulfuric cell next time i run it and <clears throat> these boards wasn't too bad now the uh cable tv direct tv boards i get um or wait that wasn't direct tv this one is a network switch this one's a network switch these i get a dollar 75 a pound and actually or dollar 95 a pound dollar 75 a pound and so I still haven't busted that computer open yet. It's, uh, uh, let me see. No, you know what? I was going to, but 
I got too much stuff out right now as it is. I'm trying to stay organized and get this all cleaned up. Tired of it being like this. And um, with everything I've got set in motion right now, I have to keep it organized because I am hoping to get another truck here, another crew on the road, so I can make more money. But, I mean, that's a little while down the road, but still, I want to be ready for it. I swear. I love the way the uh, the router boards look. They're pretty. Did, uh, I've been sorting and separating all of my e-waste. Getting ready to uh, put some in AP. Like, this guy, this is all ready for AP. That one is... I need to hit it with hydrochloric to remove all the tin before I put it in AP. And then, of course, these guys, like I said, I still haven't decided whether I want to do straight nitric first or, see, see that tin on there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to remove that before I hit it with nitric. Geo, I believe, mentioned that he thinks it may be uh, a silver type, silver based solder, so I should be okay. And I probably should listen to him, and I probably will. So, but that's a video for another day. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to get off here and get back to work. And hopefully, dinner's coming soon. You guys, take care. Mike's out.